Howdy folks! Welcome back to the Luminary Shop. Located here on the outskirts of Joliet in South Central Montana. In the last video I started a pair of Mohlbacher lamps from Paris. I spun some new front flanges and I took all the glass out and sent it out to be polished. Now some of the commentators have asked me why I don't do that portion of the work myself. Well, I could. But the folks that I send these parts off to and do that polishing for me have the equipment and the expertise to really do an expert job on it. And so it really is time and money ahead for me and I get a superior job. In this video I received the flanges and the glass back from those folks that did the polishing for me so I can get those installed and I still have some repairs to do along with making a couple of more spinnings. So, you know, lamp restoration is just a lot of small projects that add up to uh, overall restoration. It's just a lot of meticulous, time-consuming work. I can get lost in a lamp project for days at a time. Weeks at a time, actually. Well, anyway, let's see how far we can get in this video. These hinges have a double pin which allows each leaf to move independently. I'll replace the broken pin in this hinge with a piece of copper clad welding rod. The tails don't need much in the way of repairs, so I'll just clean them up and get them ready for the painting process. The only thing I really need to do is polish those rings at the top. Here I'll solder the hinges in place for the back doors.
The air holes on those front flanges have rusted out. I've cleaned them up and got them down to bare metal and I'll put a patch on the top with new holes in it. I have cleaned out and trimmed up those damage places that you see on the front edge of this outer flange part. When I solder it onto the brass inner flange, it will be in full contact with the inner flange. This is what those brass flanges that I spun look like when they come back from the polisher. They sure do a beautiful job. The bevel of the convex glass sits down on top of that inner flange and that interior reflecting liner is soldered in several places around its circumference and it holds it all together. The front flange assembly for the other lamp is assembled in a similar manner. Before I solder it all together permanently, I check to make sure that everything is still round 
and fits correctly on the lamp. I had the nicks and scratches polished out of these pieces of side glass and they came out really nicely. You may recall that the bezels on this side glass was in four different pieces and to use that original bezel material I have to be pretty careful about getting it all centered up and the corners matched correctly. These pieces of bent glass were not bent exactly true and therefore there's a small gap on one end of each of these pieces. So I use a piece of copper wire to fill the gap. It makes a lot neater solder joint than just trying to gob a bunch of solder in there to fill it. And the side glass is put on the other lamp in a similar manner. The front flanges are attached to the lamps by soldering the hinges both to the body and to the flanges. The second front flange is put on in the same way as the other one.
Over the years, the brass band on this head has become damaged by being dented and it's also age cracked. Just from stress in the metal. It's actually about to fall off of its own accord. I'll just help it along, take it off, and I'm going to attempt to spin a new piece in its place. I'm using precision pattern maker files to get through this brass and remove it. The way these finials are constructed presents some special problems in dealing with the dents on the top. I'll take them off and set them aside and we'll deal with that later. I'll remove the base piece off of this head and I'll clean it up and true it up as best I can to facilitate spinning a new brass band around the circumference of it. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.